Hi everyone, I am Wang Shen from Shanghai Zhao Tong University. It's my great honor to be here and introduce our paper, Blurry Video for Interpolation. This is a joint work with Wen Pobao, Guang Daojai, Li Chen, Chong Kuoming, and Zhi Yonggao. The goal of video for interpolation is to increase the frame rate. It predicts the intermediate frame between two consecutive frames. Generally, a camera captures videos by periodically turning on and off its shutter. While the shutter is on, also known as exposure, the sensors integrate the luminous intensity reflected by the objects to acquire the brightness of pixels. The pixel brightness integrated during the long exposure time leads to motion blur. High frame rate videos with temporally coherent content are preferable. But the capture reference frames may suffer from inevitable motion blur. Blurry video interpolation aims to jointly upconvert the frame rate and reduce the motion blur. Conventional frame interpolation algorithms directly move or warp the pixel of the reference frames to the position of target frame. If a motion blur exists in the reference frame, conventional frame interpolation algorithms cannot synthesize a clear frame. And we also consider the cascaded model, such as the cascaded interpolation and the deep blurring model. These algorithms also cannot produce clear image. The CDN based frame interpolation model can be divided into two categories optical flow based and kernel based algorithms. The optical flow based approach first estimates the pixel wise optical flow between consecutive frames. Then the reference frames are warped to the intermediate frame typically using bilinear interpolation. However, estimating accurate optical flow is a very difficult way the interpolation model encounters blurry input. Then the estimated motion vectors are propagated to the warping stage, resulting in unsatisfactory interpolated image. Another category of system-based frame interpolation model is kernel-based method. They use convolutional kernel to synthesize the pixel. The method is simple and effective, but without motion modeling, resulting blurry result. The cascaded model is a simple solution for joint interpolation and deep blurring, but the pixel errors introduced in the first stage will be propagated to the second stage, thus degrading the overall performance. Secondly, the cascaded model cannot ensure motion smoothness between the interpolated image and the deep blurred image. The proposed blurry video interpolation model includes a parent module and an inter-parameter recurrent module. The parent module consists of multiple backbone networks. The backbone network in the same color has a shared weights. It takes two consecutive frames as input, then synthesizes one in the media frames. The parent module can reduce motion blur and interpolate in the media frames simultaneously. In this picture, we show three skills. Skill two skill 3, and skill 4. A module with larger skills takes more frames as input and has wider receptive fields. We use skip connections to propagate the former information to the later network. When training, we use the cycle consistent loss to ensure the content consistency of the regenerated output. We use a variation of the residual dense network as a backbone network. The interparameter recount module use COM LSTM units to propagate the frame information across different parameter modules. The interparameter recurrent module can enforce temporal smoothness between output frames. We conduct ablation studies on the YouTube and Adobe testing set. It shows that the parameter module is scalable, whereas the scales balance the computational complexity and the restoration quality. The results show that the COM LSTM unit performs better than the LSTM unit, as well as the model, without using any recurrent unit. Our model performed favorably against all the compared methods in terms of interpolation aspect. For the deep blurring aspect, our model performs slightly inferior to the state-of-art EDVR, but our model is much smaller. This picture shows visual comparisons on the YouTube set. Our method generates clear and sharper content. To evaluate the motion smoothness between synthesized images, we propose a motion smoothness 